You know what, this intro takes an eternity. Hello everybody, I'm Alex S. Warrior, and welcome to Pokemon Gold! I swear, this time, I am going to finish a Let's Play. Because I now have a new strategy to it. Every other time, I've been doing it wrong. I've been recording individual episodes and trying to upload them as fast as possible. This time, I, re I record in bulk, and then upload individually. I don't know why I didn't pick up on that in the first place. Oh well. Restarting a new game. So a funny thing happened. I got eight minutes into recording before realizing I wasn't capturing any footage. <laughs> yeah, oops. Uh, you woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? Well, it's four. What? Four? How many minutes? One? Whoa, one minute? <laughs> Why is that so funny out of context? Yikes, I overslept. You're having problems if you're sleeping until four in the afternoon. Well, who am I to plane? Oh, hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. I'm, yeah, yeah, it's Pokemon Professor, I know. This world is inhabited by Kree. Sure's that we call Pokemon. You have a nice little picture of Meryl there. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Did you not hear me at the beginning of the episode? Well, a recap, hello, Alex S. Warrior. Oh, no, not, not Ali Semicolon. Can you imagine that kind of name? That uh, grade school would not be fun. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, as you can very plainly tell, this is heav these playthroughs are heavily inspired by those of Chugga Conroy and a close friend of mine, Sub Zero Seven, who, ironically enough, is very late into his Pokemon a, a Pokemon Let's Play of his very own, Pokemon Fire Red. Oh, our neighbor Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. This is the Poke Gear. This is essentially the phone of the game. We can call trainers, have them call us to get items, extra battles, or in our mother's case, help with our money. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer, like no one ever wa- I'm gonna stop right there. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? It's Monday. Monday, is it? Garfield won't be very happy. <laughs> it's daylight saving times now. Yes. And 4 o'clock p.m. Well, 4 o'clock p.m. No, but yes. Okay, adjust your clock for daylight saving time. Wait, did I accidentally turn on daylight saving times? No. <laughs> I don't even know. I was mashing through the dialogue in the midst of my laughter. We're not even a full five minutes in the episode and I'm already messing up. Oh well, Professor Elm is looking for us to- Nintendo 64 D-pads are weird. Let's go talk to this and talk to this important looking person. So, this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Get out of here! Jeez, kick us away, why don't ya? Wow, your Poke Gear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? I guess so. Technically, their player character is only 10, so who else would have gotten it? Yo, Alex! I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Well, that's to be. Well, yeah. 
Pokemon Gold introduced 100 new Pokemon exactly, to Generations 1's 151. Oh, there you are! I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him. Saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. As is a custom with every single Pokemon game, we have three choices for our starter Pokemon. A fire type, a water type, and a grass Pokemon. To our left here is Cyndaquil, the fan favorite. People say Cyndaquil is the best Pokemon to do a Gen 2 run with. Believe them. The second gym in the game is Bug Type, and being a Fire Type, Cyndaquil obviously has an advantage. And he remains really useful throughout the entire series. Well, game. He's pretty good in every game he's in, though. Take it over carefully. Your partner's very important. Yeah, he's got us there. Second Pokemon at our uh, availability. The second Pokemon to choose from is Totodile, a water Pokemon. Totodile is weird. He's not very useful in the original Gen 2, but come Gen 4, he gets so much better thanks to the physical special attack split. But right now, he's stuck with a special type when he's attack oriented, as opposed to Cyndaquil, who's special attack oriented. And lastly is our defensive grass type, Chikorita. Man, Chikorita is so freaking cute. But sadly, there's a catch. When your first two gyms are Flying and Bug, the Grass Pokémon don't exactly have the best time. But given Chikorita has supportive moves such as Reflect and Poison Powder, you can make do. Now, of three, these three starters, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, only two of them are seen as good by the fandom. I find that sad and degrading and true. But you know what? We're gonna turn Chikorita into a Chikorita champion. Champion Arita. That's right, we're actually doing this. I'm insane. But you know what? I've I've lived with the fact that I'm insane for years now. And there's no going back. We have a nickname to that? Absolutely. We'll be nicknaming every single uh, partner Pokemon we get. This is a male Chikorita. Hmm... Guardian of the Forest. Yeah. We're naming our Chikorita Lorax. Guardian of the Forest, I speak for the trees. Litter again, I shall shatter your knees. <laughs> Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. Your Pokemon is hurt. You should heal it with this machine. Yeah, instead of having our mom heal our Pokemon, the Professor Elm just has a Pokemon Center machine in his lab, which I guess makes sense. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. And this is the first number we get in the game. Professor Elm. Alright, let's skedaddle. Who are you? Oh, I want you to have this for your errand. Okay, potions are healing items. Basically, we use them, and our Pokémon get healed from any damage they take in battle. And speaking of our Pokémon, let's take let's take a look at our new Lorax. Surprisingly enough, not played by Danny DeVito. This is Chikorita. When it says status okay, it means it doesn't have any special conditions like sleep, paralysis, burn, poison, or freeze. This is experience points. It's basically how much it wins in battle. But it hasn't been in battle yet, so it hasn't really gotten any. According to that bar underneath level up. 44 points is how many experience points we need to get to the next level. These are your attack moves, as well as your item. There are two types of attacks. Well, two types of moves. Attacking moves and status moves. Tackle is an attack, normal type, physical and Growl is a status move that lowers the opponent's attack. And Berry is a is a held item that when your Pokémon gets below half health, it'll heal itself. 
And finally, these are the stats. This is physical attack. It shows how powerful physical attacks can be. Derp a derp. But in Gen 2, there was a weird, weird quirk that didn't did change until Gen 4. The move types showed what, if they were going to be physical or special, instead of, you know, the attack itself. So a move like Dragon Claw or Fire Punch was special, and moves like, uh, well, Aura Sphere didn't exist back then. Sludge Bomb was physical, and, shad and Shadow Ball. Defense is how well you take physical attacks, special attack is how well you dish out special attacks, and special defense is how well you take them. And speed determines who goes first. If it's a tie-in speed, it's a coin flip. Because double battles didn't exist yet. And with all that taken care of, let's go run some errands. Why'd he go up? Pokemon hide in the grass. Who knows when they'll pop out? Yep, random encounters. When we got, when you go into tall grass, there's a chance that a Pokemon... You know, that might just be the only time I've ever went through that exact patch of grass without a random encounter showing up. What is going on? Okay, there we go. This is our first random encounter of the game. Pidgey. Hmm. Pidgey is a normal flying type. Of course, I will be going more into the encounters when we run into them, once we actually get Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. Thankfully, it doesn't have any stab moves like Gust, otherwise Lorax here will be in a lot of trouble. Also, thankfully, Lorax is very defensive. Ooh, critical hit! Critical hits are a rare chance of your attacks doing double damage and bypassing any defense boosts. What do you have to say? Oh, that's a different route you can go to if you want. I wanted to take a break, so I saved my g I saved to record my progress. You know, that leads to an interesting question. What exactly is saving in, like, the Pokémon universe? If you just don't save, does time go backwards and you lose everything you did? Something about that don't seem right, Chief. Ooh, Sentret. Sentret is a normal type, but is very good for something we'll learn more about later. It's also a good experience, because we kinda need that. We'll be needing all the experience we, see we can get, because we have a battle coming up shortly. Ooh, very close to a level. Now, I won't be talking to everyone, just... people that are on their own. Or trainers. Because trainers can help us. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone's a rookie at some point. I mean, yeah... <laughs> if you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Well, I don't need to be taught them, but who knows, maybe some people in my audience have never played Pokémon. Okay then, follow me! This is a Pokémon Center. They heal your Pokémon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot. So, you better learn about them. Yeah, that's... that's not too far from the truth. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon. And other useful items. You are a liar. Before our battle with... Before our battle, we won't be able to be buying any Pokeballs. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling there. Prize Pokemon there. Ever the best joke in the series. This is the sea, as you can see. <laughs> it's such a dumb one, but it gets me every time. Some Pokemon are found only in water. And we're going to be needing one of them because we don't exactly have a water type yet because we passed up on Totodile. Here. It's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. Now, in the remakes of this game, he gives you the running shoes, which make you run fast. Here, he gives us the town map for the Pokegear. Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. 
I wish you luck on your journey. Thanks. No, really, thanks. Let's go ahead to the Pokemart so heal up. I don't want exactly... I keep saying exactly. I don't want to waste that potion that Elm's Aid gave us. You can heal your Pokemon to perfect health. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Oh yeah, there's one thing I forgot to get into when we were discussing Chikorita's everything. Did you see? Did you happen to see those numbers near the attack? Those are called power points, and and sadly, PP for short. If those run out, you can't use your move. Run out of all of them on all your moves. You could use a special attack called Struggle, a move that hurts you more than it helps you. Stop walking into trees, me! This is Route 30. What is it with me not running into wild Pokemon? This is getting ridiculous. I kind of want to have Chikorita grow up to be big and strong. A jolly green giant. Why didn't I, why didn't I name it green giant? Oh, wait. I didn't have enough uh, characters. Here's another Pidgey. Go! Lorax! I'm not sure if this was implemented in this gen or later, but if your Pokémon defeats a Pokémon that... The higher level the other Pokémon is, when you defeat it, the more experience you get. I think that's how it works. Oh yeah, that whole uh, coin toss thing's coming in here. I guess they both have the same speed. Oh, man. But here we can see the berry take place. And berries aren't the only thing your Pokémon can hold to help them in battle. Some items boost attack power, and others heal you, other heal others heal status conditions. But you can't have them hold stuff like potions. That would be too uh, overpowered. And thusly, Mr. Pokemon's house. Hello, hello. You must be Alex. Professor Elm said you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. We received the mystery egg. And instead of, you know, keeping the egg safe, we're just gonna cram it in our book bag. That's fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen to the egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. We'll be discussing that later. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent a mail to Professor L. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor L is the authority. If Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor L will know it. Ah, so you're Alex. I'm Oak, a Pref Oak Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a dumb nickname someone would give in, like, elementary school. I heard you were running an errand from Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, is this a rare Pokémon? Let's see. Mm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokémon for this errand. The researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokémon, are our friends. We saw that you would treat your Pokémon with love and care. <laughs> Kinda of hard to read these when you don't have a lot of words to read. You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Yeah, we get the Pokédex. Don't expect me to try and fill this thing out at all. 251 Pokémon when I don't have Pokémon Silver. No thanks. Go and meet many kinds of Pokémon, and complete that Pokédex. No promises, Oak. But I've stayed too long. I have to get Goldenrod bef I have to get Goldenrod. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. I'm counting on you. Okay, bye. You're returning to, prof to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokémon should have some rest. Okay, there it is. Pokémon Center's not the only places where you can get rest. Some random NPCs can, uh, heal your Pokémon for you. But 
Press Realm's calling us. <laughs> Hello, Alex? It's a disaster. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's just terrible. Ooh, what should I do? Oh, no. Please get back here now. Oh, no. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this episode. Next time, we'll see what exactly the matter is with Professor Realm. I'm Alex S. Warrior. See you in the next video. Goodbye.